you suffer from the debilitating symptoms of chronic pain, swelling, and loss of joint motion due to arthritis? Are you taking drugs like Celebrex and Vioxx or other super aspirin prescriptions? If you are, you're increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke by up to 50%. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, host of Dr. Tom Rosell Live Sundays at 12 noon. Why live with pain or the dangerous side effects of drugs when the doctors at the Rosell Center for Healing practicing 21st century integrative medicine can help you experience relief like never before? Simple, safe, chiropractic, acupuncture, and nutritional care can provide significant relief from arthritic pain in less than six weeks. More than 70% of our patients experience a return to life far beyond their expectations. Give yourself the best gift possible, freedom from arthritic pain, naturally. Call today to schedule an appointment. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. Dr. Tom Rosell live right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio. Love to hear from you. Waiting to take your phone calls, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Let's talk to you on any subject that you have in mind. Perhaps you've had a problem, you've tried, you've applied, and you've come up with the same old, same old, nothing that works. Well, here's an opportunity to kind of open the door on a different subject to see if we can actually do something with a non-drug, non-surgical approach. We talk about all the different areas of integrative care, from chiropractic to acupuncture to homeopathic medicine uh, to all those herbal remedies that you you think that you know about but really don't know a whole lot about and how they really work, well, here's your opportunity. Let's talk about it. We have a special topic today, one that we're going to kind of massage through, if you will. We're going to take it in ebbs and flows. We're going to take it in waves. And actually, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about your health through the four seasons of your life, the four seasons of the year, the four seasons of you know our, our life as we go through the existence of this planet, health through day-to-day highs and lows, weekly highs and lows, monthly highs and lows. You know, many of you have experienced different energetics or different energies, different pieces of how you feel at different times of the year. There's spring, there's summer, there's fall, there's winter. You notice that sometimes your hair grows faster and your nails grow longer and thicker and you you know, your mind is clearer and different things happen. Guys, sometimes you notice that you know, everything is going well and your libido is nice and strong and then all of a sudden, for no reason whatsoever, it's not there anymore. Your interest kind of wanes and you know, that's it. Oh my God, that's not like me. Well, we have those pieces of our life. We have those pieces of our times and we're going to talk about those today and to help you really understand it. Our guest in studio and your host this Wednesday, July 24th at 7.30 p.m. at the Rizal Center for Healing as part of our in-house continuing education program. Dr. Stephanie Pina, acupuncturist and doctor of naturopathic medicine. Dr. Pina, welcome again. Thanks for having me back. Well, it's always fun to be here with you <laughs> because it's easy flow. You know, it's back and forth and, you know, we kind of get into all kinds of things. But this is an interesting topic because I don't think that anyone has not experienced changes in their health, changes in their energy feeling, changes even how they think and mentate that is consistent, that correlates with different times of the year, different times of their life. Let's start out with a real basic question. Why? How come? Well, it's really interesting. We don't really think about how we feel from a day-to-day basis unless there's something going wrong with us physically or mentally. But then we don't think about how we do from one season to the next. You know, when it comes time for all the stresses around, say, the holidays or summer vacation, you know, we, we, we get excited for that stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on, but there's a lot of times that actually brings us down. So if we don't learn to live in harmony with the seasons around us and basically kind of adjust our lifestyle to whether or not the days are longer or shorter, what the temperature is outside, it can affect us on a day-to-day basis. So the outside seasonal uh, influences basically affect our internal bodies as well. You know, traditional Chinese medicine has observed those balances over the course of its inception. We're talking about thousands of years. So they got a lot of data on the subject. And, you know, we don't get it. We don't understand. Even, you know, to the point where certain herbs, certain diets, certain nutritional patterns are more... Uh, supportive and sometimes less supportive if we eat them at the wrong time of the year. Let's let's talk about uh, foods that are grown locally. You know, we live in the Mid Atlantic area. We live in an area that goes through four seasons, 
And specifically during those four seasons, there are things that are grown here naturally. And then when they're above ground, they have more energetics. When they're underground, it has a different story. How does that work with our, our health? Are there times when we, we should eat certain things, and how come? Well, absolutely. It's kind of if you think about when things are growing. You know, in the springtime, things are growing a lot. They're flourishing. So those are the times when, as far as food goes, you want to get fresh stuff. You want to get the green leafy things. Everything's sprouting up. Even sprouts um, or sprouting beans are a good thing, too. That's going to basically help you become more active after you're coming out of your winter slump. You know, as you're moving into summer, we tend to have decreased appetites overall because it's warm, it's hot. We don't need to take in as much food consumption, even though we tend to drive ourselves and do as much as we possibly can during the summer hours. So a lot of those foods tend to be cooling. And then if we do like spicy foods, what do they do is they basically open up the pores and allow us to sweat to cool our body down. You know, as you move into more of the fall where you're collecting and harvesting, you start seeing some of the root vegetables that basically are going to lead into the winter. And all those vegetables basically have bright colors. You know, you see, think of the fall colors, the fall leaves. They're, they're basically telling you this is what you should go out and eat, basically. And then as you move, say, into the winter, you know, you're supposed to be hibernating and, you know, sleeping more during the day, conserving your energy, because that's going to really set you up for that next season, that next year where everything starts anew again. So the root vegetables, the heavier foods, um, some of the warming foods of the body to kind of help you protect you, especially when you're living in an area where there is dramatic temperature change and you can really feel the cold winters and the warm summers. So Mother Nature is way smarter than we are. I mean, Absolutely. It, it really, you know, if we observed the animals, if we really watched our environment, we, we did what they did, we would be so far better off. When there's times to be active and productive, we should be active and productive. When there's times that we feel sleepy and tired, we should go to bed and not keep ourselves artificially stimulated as we do today with lights and computers and news and anger and, and all those things that you know that we get locked into. It's it's amazement to me that as human beings, as supposedly at the top of the eating chain and the food chain, we don't pay attention to what nature has provided. Triple eight six three zero nine six two five, that's how you reach us today. And if you'd like to uh, get intimate with this subject. This Wednesday, the 24th at 7.30 p.m., Dr. Stephanie Pina is going to be your host, your presenter, at the Rizal Center for Healing in Fairfax. All you need to do is call us at 703-698-7117, 703-698-7117. And remember, these are our gift to you. This is a freebie. and But we do require one thing. We do require a reservation. And without that, you won't have a seat. So give us a call. Tell my staff that you'd like to be there, and I promise you, you're going to have some insights and some applications immediately that you can take home and put this topic together for your better use. Let's talk a little bit, Dr. Pina, about how uh, the, the seasonal components of influence affects infection and disease processes. Everybody knows that in the wintertime, we get sick. We get colds, we get flus, we get viruses, we feel lousy, we get pneumonias. But in the summertime, we get out in the sun, and it's warm, and it feels better, and our, we seem to breathe better, except if you're allergic to fungus and mold and live in Washington, D.C., and you know, you're on foggy bottom. However, having said that, there is a distinct difference in those seasonal patterns. Why do we get sick at one time of the year? Well, from a Chinese medicine perspective, what's interesting is that if you're going to treat a patient and someone has chronic occurring d diseases and illnesses, say even so things like springtime allergies or, like you say, colds and flus during the winter, it it can have to do the changes of the weather and stuff. But essentially, you know, the season before that really becomes um, beneficial to treating the current season's problems. So basically, when you're talking about colds and flus during the winter, you know, it's cold around you, so you want to start tonifying that season before, so in, in the actual fall, which in Chinese medicine is actually governed by the lungs. So it makes sense that someone would have infections of respiratory issues. Um, even the lungs actually govern the skin, too, so they might notice more dry skin, dry allergies and stuff when the dry heat that we turn on our thermostats comes on. But all that stuff can be started to work on that season before during the fall to make your body more healthy healthy and well going into the problem season. So you see that come up constantly over and over again. The kidneys have a connection also with the liver cycle, which the liver is trying to process the toxins of the body, which is where also some of those toxins and pollens and molds and start coming into in the next cycle, in the spring cycle. So we see things come over and over again, not because of always what's going on around us in the weather at that particular moment, but how our own bodies are uh, stabilized in our own health. 
you know, the energetic flows are so amazing. In my my own uh, life, my own application, there are times that I feel that I can produce a whole lot more, even now. So that breaks it down. It's not just seasonal, but it also has to do with age. It also has to do with the time, uh, the time of the month, the time of the, I've got to be careful when I say that, <laughs> the, the time of the week, and where there are things that I can do more productively. You know, we notice that when the moon's fuller, we have a certain attitude. We know when the moon's waning, we have a certain attitude. We notice that when, you know, the weather shifts dramatically. We notice that, you know, I felt really good on Tuesday, but nothing's changed. The weather's the same, but Friday, I feel like a piece of wrung out meat, you know. That's part of what we're talking about. What what are we talking about relative? Are these hormonal cycles? Are these energetic cycles? Are these, uh, you know, electromagnetic fields? How do they play into this game? Well, I think there's a little bit of everything in there because essentially, you know, when we do tend to respond well to certain uh, weather patterns or what time of year it is, or, you know, we're also responding to the stressors around us too. So basically, if we're in a happy mood, we're going out there, we like, say, the summertime and being out in the sunshine, and the heat feels good to us, maybe we're running a little cold in nature anyway, that heat's going to help restore our vitality. So we're going to want to do more. We're going to be more focused. We're going to want to actually, you know, be out in the world and be active. But essentially, then you kind of think about people who suffer from seasonal um, mood disorders, like more during the wintertime when there's less of uh, the sun out there, there's less light. We don't have that stimulus. That stimulus is what we're feeding off of from Mother Nature herself. So light, everything around us is going to affect the, it's the rhythms of our own body on a day-to-day basis. Well, we go back to that uh, that sunshine producing something called vitamin D, and that's critical to so many different pathways, our moods, because of serotonin and dopamine production. It has to do with the healing capacity of our bodies. It has to do with our strength and our vitality because bone metabolism and those elements as well. So when it comes down to you know, the, the winter months and we don't get outside. And so many uh, of our, our listeners don't get out in the summer. They say it's too hot. You know, how many of you have been staying inside and really have not gone outside and you don't get sunshine through a plate glass window? You actually have to be outside in the sun to get the benefits of that. You know, we have a lot of phone calls come in and I want to talk about the the cycles of life. And I know this Wednesday evening, the, the 24th, 7.30 p.m., you're going to get intimate. You're going to give people, you know, how-tos and applications and how to maintain because this is a piece that everybody notices, but we don't talk about a lot. There is a caller and she's asked about a question that we briefly talked about last week and I don't have a lot of time to get into it but I do want to make a comment on it. Debbie, thank you for calling. I'd like to answer your question. Uh, Yes, I was wondering if you could talk about the study that says omega-3 supplements cause cancer and also how do you know you are getting a good omega-3 supplement that's not rancid or anything? Okay, first of all the study was not about you know, they were talking about prostate cancer in men and the study was not about prostate cancer and the effect of omega-3s causing prostate cancer. What they did is the study was about something else, and, you know, when people go in and want to cherry-pick information from any kind of study, you can kind of twist it and mold it the way you want to. Well, these were people who already had significant health issues. And what they did is they said, oh, they're also taking omega-3s. Look at all these guys that are taking omega three. so omega-3s must be bad. Well, if, the, if that was true in my 37 years of practice, I would have killed a lot of men by now. And in my experience over the years with the battery of patients that we've had, I've never seen one correlation, and there's studies out there, many, many studies that will show you that what omega-3s do, if they're not rancid, by the way, and if they're from good substances, which gets into your next question, that they're supportive of the body. So... How do you know? Well, there are many different forms of omega-3s. They're not just from fish oils. They're from other substances as well. And you have to you have to know your metabolism. You have to go to somebody like Dr. Pina or myself that understands the nutritional pathways. But having said that, if you didn't do anything else but always pick organic sources, or if you're going to get a fish source of omega-3s, that you get it from the Pacific, and these are wild-caught fishes, and they're not in polluted areas. Does it take a little study? Yes. There's a website site, if you want to know what dirty fishes are and where they come from, uh, it's simply called OceansAlive.com, and you can find a lot of information. Debbie, I wish I could get more involved in the question, and it's probably a, a program that we should devote to this, but unfortunately, that's the tidbit. We'll be right back after some very important information. 
Did you know that routine mammograms can increase radiation exposure to breast tissue 1,000 times over a chest x-ray? Now consider a simple, non-invasive, and totally safe medical procedure approved by the FDA since 1982 that can detect breast cancer five to eight years before it can be visualized on a mammogram. Infrared thermographic imaging can accurately detect the initial signs of breast cancer as increased blood supply and metabolic rate, which is recorded as heat. Why expose yourself to radiation when accurate and safe medical detection is available? Call the Thermography Center of Fairfax to schedule a breast exam today at 703-948-7248. That's 703-943-7248. For more information, visit www.thermographyscan.net. That's thermographyscan.net for the Thermography Center of Fairfax. The Roselle Center for Healing is a proud supporter of breast cancer awareness and reminds you to conduct a monthly breast self-examination and and a thermographic breast scan as part of your annual wellness checkup. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. After 35 years of practice and almost three quarters of a million patient visits, the Roselle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies, or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Roselle, author of Ageless Health, Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. We are in studio. Give us a call, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you if you have a problem. Love to see if we can clear it up for you. It's without drugs, without surgery. Give you a couple hints on kind of exploring your own reality when it comes to your wellness and your health. You know, there's so much that you can do. You just don't know about that. And you can take your health at any moment where it is and change it significantly if you know the steps and you know the application. That's why we do these programs. I want to uh, remind you and encourage you, encourage you, besides our in-house continuing education program this Wednesday, but next Sunday, right after Dr. Tom was alive, we are going to be at the Angelica Film Center at the Mosaic in Merrifield, Virginia. And what are we going to be doing there? We're going to be showing you the twice-nominated, Emmy Award-nominated, PBS special, Ageless Health. For those of you who haven't seen it, this is a blockbuster film. What it does is it's a documentary that features six patients who had significant, significant health problems. One had uh, anaphylaxic seizures and um, uh, due to allergy reactions, and another one had MS, a very progressive uh, MS, a young woman who was 30 years old, another uh, top-level master's uh, tennis player, uh, couldn't hold a racket anymore, another man with uh, TIAs and migraine headaches, another fireman who had low back uh, problems that nobody could help and was about to be put on disability in retirement, and a young boy who was so severely ADHD that at six, er, at two years old, he's wearing six-month-old clothing, failure to thrive as well, compounded. And every one of these cases, every single one of them, full, complete, total resolution through integrative health care, through multidiscipline approach. The program runs an hour, and I'm going to start out by giving you a very brief introduction to the program. won't last too long. You'll see the program, and I'll answer any questions that you have about the program, about the patients, about how we treated them, what happened with them. This is a program that's making its way throughout the country. Uh, PBS has released it so we can show it in theaters. Uh, they still own the television rights to it for another 16 months. Love to have you there. The cost of admission is $10 per person, or you can get three tickets for $20, and every cent of that goes to caring for others, a 501c3. So you'll be able to deduct the price of the tickets, too, on top of all of that. So love to have you as a guest. All you need to do is go to rosellecare.com, R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com, rosellecare.com, 
or call our office directly at 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Tell my staff that you would like to purchase a ticket and register for the Ageless Health Film Presentation, the 28th, next Sunday, 2 p.m., at the Angelica Film Center at the Mosaic in Maryfield, Virginia. Or you can take a chance and show up and see if there's any seats that are left. We'd love to have you. It's very inexpensive. Great way to stay out of the heat and great way to find out more by watching six amazing, amazing, impactful stories. Love to have you. Love to meet you. Love to shake your hand and answer your questions. Right now in studio, Dr. Stephanie Pina acupuncturist, doctor of naturopathic medicine. We're talking about your health through four seasons, four seasons of your life, four seasons of the calendar year, and so forth. And we have several phone calls, and we're going to get to you. But, Dr. Pina, let's talk about this a little bit more. Let's talk about, you know, we started talking uh, briefly before we came to the end of the program on I feel good certain times of the week or certain times of the month, and then I don't anymore, and I haven't changed anything. What's going on? Well, there could be actually hormone changes that's going on, too. And, and a lot of the times when I see a lot of patients come in, especially women, they'll be able to tell you that offhand because they'll know exactly where they are in their cycling. But the men still feel that same way, too. I, I think you agree with that, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, we do the same thing, guys, except we, you know, we'll, we'll get into that privately. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So... Basically, you know, there's in changes that go on on a day-to-day basis that have to go through that full cycle. You know, we have our highs and our lows, whether it's not, it's our cortisol that's getting lifted up. So basically it's our fight-flight system to get us going. And whether that's good stress or bad stress, but that has to be in check at certain times. The same thing with other hormones, melatonin, dopamine, serotonin. Those are the ones that are going to keep us healthy and active so that we can get up and go and do things and respond to that light and uh, be active during the day. You know, it's an amazing, it's it's an amazing opportunity, if you will, to really understand why the body does certain things and really sustain, support, and enhance that capacity. Because when you ignore, uh, you know, I just don't feel good today type of thing, there's a reason for that. Your body's craving something. Your body needs something. When you're, you know, you're vibrant and you're ready to go and you're ready, you can, you know, handle anything that comes your way, there's a reason for that and there's a way of supporting those things. And I know you're going to get into those pieces, you know, as we go on uh, on an ongoing basis. We've got to take a break. We're coming up for the news. I wanted to take at least two of the calls, but we're going to do that when we come back from the news. And, but right now we've got to pay attention to the supporters of Dr. Tom Rosell. And also, listen to what's happening about and around us. You know, those are important things, I think. Anyway, don't go away. This is Dr. Tom. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. We are in studio. Why? Because it's hot outside and it's cool in here. But we want you to listen to us. 888-630-9625. 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you on any subject you have in mind. Let's see if we can fix it without you resorting to drugs and surgery. The reason that we do this program is to give you an opportunity. What's the opportunity to think differently, to realize that there are other ways other than cutting yourself open or having somebody cut yourself open and taking drugs that will ruin you? Our topic today is health through the four seasons, your four seasons, but those four seasons are rhythms in your life, rhythms on the calendar, rhythms on the clock. And we know that hormones go up and down on a day-to-day basis, on a week-to-week basis, but also on a calendar basis as well and as your life begins to move there are certain shifts and sometimes they're enhanced dramatically before we do that i'm going to go to a call simply because of the fact that she has been very patient and i don't think i'm going to be able to ask or answer the question the way she wants me to but i want to acknowledge her laura thank you for being so patient and waiting hello hi laura hi dr tom Rizal. thank you for taking my call I, I have a question about holistic medicine. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's called Integrative Family Medicine Center in Leesburg. Okay. Is this uh, the same, um, you know, kind of practice that you do in your practice? No. It's different? No. Yeah, they don't have all the pieces. They have some of the pieces, but they don't have all the pieces. Now, what they do, uh, I think they do very well. Uh, but they don't have it from a true multidiscipline approach. But having said that, they're, you know, the practitioners that are there are good people, and they, the, for what they do, they do good work. 
but we're one of the few practices that will actually take a patient and what we do is we look at the patient multidimensionally. You come in, we look at the patient neurologically, structurally from a chiropractic point of view. We look at it from a functional medicine, nutritional point of view. We look at it from an acupuncture, oriental medicine point of view. We look at it from a strength and posture bearing point of view. We try to answer the question from a natural basis of what's really going on, not just treating the body with, you know, with an herb, with uh, uh, an acupuncture needle or whatever, but truly understand understanding where it started from, where the injuries were perhaps, where the biochemical imbalances were, when they started, the exposures, what the the emotional pieces are that's associated, where the patient lives. Uh, all those things are important in divining any situation that the patient shows up with. So I can't answer your question specifically. Yeah, um, I, wish, I wish, Dr. Tom Rosell, that you have a, a practice here in, in, I mean in, in Loudoun County. Well, it may have. Happen. I can't come all the way, especially I have some, you know, physical limitations for me to travel that far. Laura, I, I appreciate the comments, and we'll, you know, we'll try to give you, if you want some specific information, get a hold of me at rosellcare.com or drtomrosell.com. They're both going to go back and forth to the same site, and you can get uh, into the two areas, but I'm happy to answer anybody's questions. Like I said, there's a few practitioners out there that that do what we do. There's a few on there that are, are taking just one side of the puzzle, the nutritional uh, portion, and they're just using that. So, but when you look at a patient, you have to look at them multidimensionally. Dr. Pina, this Wednesday, let's get back onto the topic just for a little bit. We have some more people that we have to talk to, and we're going to get back to them so we don't want to be rude. But let's talk about the ebbs and flows, the week to week, the month to month, and so forth. And let's talk about, you know, strength patterns getting stronger. Let's talk about uh, even hormonal. An area that you like to talk about is fertility. There are times when women are more fertile, if you will, even though that they're having normal cycles. Absolutely. We know that for fertility in women that, you know, the estrogen cycle, which is essentially when the eggs are developing and follicles are developing, you know, that's going to be higher at the beginning of the, uh, the month and then essentially or the start of a cycle. And then essentially that's going to kind of wean down. We're going to have a LH surge and essentially we get a new trigger to increase progesterone. And in some aspects of it, this is also happening in men as they produce more sperm, as they produce more testosterone as well too. But what's interesting is if you relate it back to where we are in the month, you know, you can relate to some of this to the lunar actual calendar. There's been studies out there that actually have shown when there's more light available. So either during the summertime or when there's a full moon, you actually, and we, we think about going crazy during the full moon, but essentially that's the best, sometimes in some countries, the best time for ovulation because we're supposed to be more active at night. So that means there's going to be that time of transition where the estrogen, the progesterone levels start to balance out, which allows for ovulation. So, so date and night is on a full moon. Uh, I guess so, yes. Oh, I, I'm just, just saying, <laughs> just you know, putting it out there for whatever reason. You know, I'm Sicilian. I think about these things. Uh, <laughs> this Wednesday evening, I know you're going to get into that and a little bit, not necessarily that topic, but let's talk about a little bit about the capacity to heal. All right. Is there, you know, a lot of people are going to have uh, surgery because they went too far. You know, they have bone on bone and they're going to have a knee replacement or hip replacement. They are the place where they're so coronary occluded that they've got to go in and, and have a bypass. Otherwise, they're going to die like yesterday. So is there a time, is there a better opportunity for, for their outcome uh, based on what we're talking about? Well, when you think about it, the most yin, uh, yang seasons, which is the most active, the time we have the best kind of healing responses are going to tend to be that summertime going, or springtime going into summertime, and then the beginning of the fall. So when there's, when we have that activity, when we can get the most vitamin D and boost our immune system. Also, there's a lot of studies that says, you know, if we're feeling better, then we tend to respond well to any kind of surgical procedure. We're going to heal quicker. So a lot of the times you'll see it more during the beginning of the year than towards the end because then you're also more dormant and things are colder and you're not allowed to get that blood flow to those areas that need to heal and get rid of the inflammation. So if I wanted to have elective surgery, it, I shouldn't have it during the holidays? Probably not because, you know, there's a lot of other stressors and essentially your cortisol levels are going to be able to fluctuate and shift a little bit more, which the surgery in itself is going to cause cortisol to kind of go crazy because it's a new system, a new thing that's going on, and it's going to basically decrease your immune system. So especially if there's a season 
that you have troubles with, that's not going to be the season that you're going to want to have that particular se- uh, procedure done. So anybody that gets into the springtime, you know, as we start seeing the moisture, the damp, and the fungus, and the mold, and they start coughing and hacking, and they're turning to, you know, steroid suppressors and things of that nature, not a good time to have an elective surgery. Absolutely. And you also see some people, you know, we'll have patients come in, typically they'll have more arthritic type of conditions. They'll say, I'm worse during the changes of the season, not even during one particular one. Their bodies react into the same kind of barometric pressure or they're having headaches too. You see that a lot. Um, that essentially is happening when there's changes. There's not a direct temperature um, or they're responding to the humidity in the air. So if there's at times that you notice that you're just not feeling your, your absolute best, those aren't the times that you want to actually go in. You know, I came uh, to this area from western New York State, south of Buffalo, Jamestown, New York. And that area is known for all kinds of things, uh, many different forms of cancers, but that's specifically because the environmental toxins, the runoffs of the pollutions that happen to be in the soil. Thirteen, There's 13 toxic waste dumps in the artesian well system of western New York, so people are getting this in the water. That's a different story. But what is inherent to that area is low cloud cover, not a lot of sunshine, cold small period of time when it's really vibrant and sunshine. That has a huge effect based on what we're talking about. Oh, absolutely. And growing up in New Hampshire, there's studies that say 9.4% of people actually will have seasonal disorders because of the we have the same kind of winters. You know, the cl- you don't get the real bright summer heats and the bright sunshine that you do, say, a little bit south. Um, also, you see that in, like, Finland and Sweden where they have basically, you know, five hours of sunlight during some times and then 22 hours of sunlight. They have significant mood disorder studies there that they notice that people will go back and forth between feeling depressed and feeling happy, whether their health changes or not. Um, so there's a lot of things that have to do with the, the actual temperature that you grew up in. And then if you move, your body will adjust to some extent to that new temperature and climate. But you might start picking up some of those even if you move back. So my question to you is this. If, if somebody wanted to maximize their health, they really wanted to get to a place where they wanted to start a process of you know, rebuilding their foundation, clearing the system out, regaining their health, trying to get their hormones back, when's the best time to start? Is there a best time or is there any time that's the best time? Well, the good thing is that you could start at any time. However, you want to pay attention to basically what's going on with that season and really focus in on that. And then, essentially, if you have a problem season, that's probably not going to be the time to start. You have to start a couple of seasons before to build that body up, to build up your immune system, to build up your strength. Because essentially what's going to happen is that you're planning ahead for something that's already, you already know that's happening. Instead of waiting for you know allergies to kick in and then going, oh my goodness, what can I do naturally to get rid of these, these symptoms? This Wednesday evening, the 24th of July, the month's almost over, 7.30 p.m., Dr. Stephanie Pina will be your host, your presenter, at our in-house continuing education program at the Rizal Center for Healing, where she's going to talk about health through the four seasons. So if you'd like to get a little bit more understanding on the subject, it's a really interesting subject, and I know she's going to get in detail, and she'll help you with some of the things. She'll tell you what to do and what not to do. Give us a call, 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. I'm going to ask her a couple more pointed questions, but before I do that, Charlie's been holding for quite some time. Charlie, how can I help you? Thank you for your call. Hi, great show, doctor. Thank you, my friend. Good work. Um, I have a couple of questions. One, should mercury fillings always be removed, or does it depend on the circumstances? The other one, should vitamins be taken continuously, or should you should you stop and take a break every now and then? Okay, so mercury is a toxin. It's a, a highly toxic metal, and the dentist, dental profession are the only ones that use it therapeutically. And here's the interesting thing. When they take mercury out of your mouth, they have to, re, they have to uh, get rid of it as a biohazard waste. Okay, they can't, they can't touch it. But when you go into a school system, if somebody breaks a thermometer, an old-fashioned mercury thermometer, or there's a mercury spill, they shut the school down. So that should give you the, the, the short answer is that any mercury in your body is not good, period, end of story. And if you go onto the websites and you really do your homework, you're going to see the effect that this has from immunological reactions to neurological degenerative changes to uh, immune suppression and so forth. It's not worth it. So the first question, should mercury be taken out? Yes, I had mine done years ago. But it has to be done in a very sane way. You can't go in 
and just, you know, crunch and drill because now you've got mercuric oxide, which is even more deadly to the brain than, uh, than anything else. You have to have not only a rubber dam around the tooth that you're extracting the filling from, you have to have an internal source of suction and there should be an external vapor source as well. The patient should be prepared before that with uh, certain types of chelators. You have to protect the tissue. You have to make sure that it's not being reabsorbed through the intestinal tract. There are a lot of different forms of chelators uh, that can be used, but you need to talk to either a good biological dentist or deal with us as we deal with other dentists. And you know what my fear is with a lot of these, uh, these extractions is that a lot of dentists realize that they have to be taken out, but they don't protect themselves. Because when they're drilling on this stuff, they're getting the byproduct of all that vapor, and it's a it's a bad bad situation. So, having said that, uh, does that help you? Thank you. What about the uh, vitamin supplements? Okay, vitamin supplements are things. One, they should be organic. They should be prescribed. Uh, low dosages are better, except for certain things. No vitamin should be taken ongoingly. Uh, they need to be rotated based on seasons, like we're talking about right now. There are certain things that are more supportive, and Dr. Pino will get into that on Wednesday evening. There are times when you want to increase the heat in your body. There are times when you want to put the fire out and decrease the, the fire, but only, only by natural substances. Don't buy things that have been extrapolated from oil or synthetics. They just don't work, and they, they end up causing other problems that you don't want to have to deal with. So uh, natural food sources, low-dose low vitamins, only uh, specific things, and never continue a vitamin long-term, specifically an herb. An herb is a medicine, and your body can become allergic to it and sensitive to it over a period of time. So uh, that's a short thumbnail on it, Charlie. Thank you for calling. I really appreciate it. That's, like, way true. Mm-hmm. You you gotta you gotta put the fire out. Well, one one of the interesting things too is to think about what else is going on where you're living, what other heavy metals you might be exposed to, and where other sources of mercury might be coming from too. That's right, and you know we can talk uh, talk about that in another program, but <laughs> unfortunately we have huge amounts of exposures constantly, and I've uh, posted on it many times on our website. By the way, if you want to go to that, go to RoselleCare.com. We're coming up to a break. Don't go away. We have some very interesting thoughts to end the program with. We'll be right back. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. After 35 years of practice and almost three quarters of a million patient visits, the Roselle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies, or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health Is, a Do-It-Yourself Program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is, a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. If you're looking for the best in natural health, wellness, and green living products, shop the Roselle Web Store on Amazon.com. You'll find a variety of products and resources that are designed to help achieve an ultimate state of health and wellness. Shop the Roselle Web Store on Amazon.com today. Visit DrTomRoselle.com and click on Roselle Web Store. That's DrTomRoselle.com and click on Roselle Web Store. Educate. Engage. Empower. Take control of your health with Dr. Tom Roselle and the Roselle Center for Healing. Information is power. Achieve an ultimate state of wellness with Dr. Tom Roselle's Education Lecture Series Video On Demand. Discover how to create an extraordinary life of optimal health and wellness. Visit drtomrosellecom slash education. That's drtomrosellecom slash education. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live every Sunday, 12 noon, right here. Tell your friends. Love to talk to you. You can get a hold of us here at 888-630-9625 or anytime off air, right on your computer. Go to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com. And make sure you check out drtomrosell.com, too. You can get to it from both websites. 
I want to have Dr. Pina wrap up what she's going to be talking to you about this Wednesday, the 24th at 7.30 p.m. Remember, if you'd like to register for that class, you do it by going to 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. I'm going to have about a minute to answer this one. Bill, thank you for calling. I have a minute. Love to talk to you and answer your question. Hello, Bill. Bill. Bill's not there. So Bill wanted to know about the possibility for a diabetic to become a non-diabetic by taking proper medication. The short answer is no. You can't take medication and try to fix a problem. You have to change you. And how you change you is by decreasing inflammatory pathways, eating properly, exercise, and taking specific nutrition that allows the system to heal. Over a period of time, I haven't seen a type 2 diabetic that can't respond if they really step up and do what they need to do. So hope that helps, Bill. And if you'd like more information, just get a hold of me at roselcare.com. Dr. Pina, let's wrap it up and let's tell everybody why they should attend, but more importantly, what you're going to talk about this Wednesday evening. We're going to talk about those cycles that you see in the seasons outside and how that affects your overall health, how you can be more responsive to how your health is changing throughout the year instead of on a day-to-day basis and depending on your symptoms that you're having. I'm going to talk about basically not only the seasons outside and how they affect us, but also how they affect the organ systems, the hormones, and your even your moods as well, too. So we're going to go over some stuff, but this is a different way of looking at medicine instead of just by symptom control that you haven't heard before. I think it's a fascinating uh observations, a fascinating topic. It's one that you know I've looked at with every patient that I've dealt with for 37 years because we all have these, you know, I feel really good today, but you know, during the summer I feel lousy, or during the summer I feel great, but the rest of the year, you know, put me out to pasture, I don't feel well at all. And that's consistent, you know, with everyone. Think about your own life, think about the things that happen, think about your moods, think about your emotions, think about your libido, think about how you ebb and flow throughout the course of the years and life and months and, and so forth. If you'd like to join us Wednesday evening, the 24th, 7.30 p.m., all you got to do is call us, 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. We'd love to have you as our guest. These are courtesies. These are free to you. These are our gift to the community, but we do require one thing, and that's a reservation. You must have a reservation. And by the way, you make a reservation, we're going to call you to confirm the reservation. Please let us know, yes or no, because we have people waiting. I want to remind you also, next Sunday, the 28th at 2 p.m., right after Dr. Tom is alive, we're going to be at the Angelica Film Center at the Mosaic in Merrifield. Why? Because we're going to show to you the twice Emmy Award nominated PBS documentary ageless health on the work that we do it's an hour out of your time come in stay cool join us we'll have a great day answer all of your questions intimately and specifically it's very inexpensive go to our website to register and we'll see you then and i'll see you next week right here at 12 noon bye are you dental phobic do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com.